For the second Guardian Ape fight, again, I would recommend using the Mortal Blade. His first phase can be done quite easily with the Mortal Blade. You'll see all the times that I use it. Um, the one time that I wouldn't recommend using it that actually ended up working for me at least once is whenever he does his perilous dive and then his stab attack. Usually you can't stun him with his downward uh, ground slam. Um, I did manage to do that once, but you'll see later on that I was unsuccessful in doing that again. You can disrupt his scream attack with the mortal blade if you're close enough, but if you're not close enough, go ahead and clear out, because it's just not worth it. Um, if you don't have the timing quite right, he won't get interrupted and he'll just continue with the attack. A good time to attack is also whenever he does his diving move, as it's easy to get to the side of him and then use your mortal blade while he's getting up. For the second portion of his fight, he will call in his girl. Now, if you're quick enough, you can get to where she lands and use the mortal blade on her before she attacks you, but as you can see, I'm not quite quick enough. I would recommend on focusing on her, um, as it makes the fight a lot easier. Whenever she starts to scream, that's always a good moment to go for her because it, that takes a while for that animation to play out, and it's usually enough time to get a good hit on. She has similar moves to the Guardian Apes first phase um, in the Sunken Valley, but her moves are much quicker. She doesn't have all the same moves. Hers are a little different. For this one, it's good to try to get them a little bit separated. This slam attack is probably her most dangerous move, and it's a bit of a combo. It's one you'll want to try to steer clear of if you can. Um, it's her most dangerous move as well. If you have the mid-air prosthetic ability, this is a good time to use it with the Mortal Blade, as you can get some of that charge out of the way before you're on the ground and vulnerable. She has a perilous sweep, but it's not too hard to block, uh, to escape that. Focusing on her will make the fight much easier, as she's not too hard to take down. Uh, a couple good hits with the Mortal Blade, and she's done. Um, but these two can be quite the handful together. If you leave her and go for the ape first, she's pretty good at coming in and blindsiding you. She's a really good support uh, enemy and she'll just make your day hell whenever you every time you get an opening on the ape she'll come in and wipe you out she's a little more aggressive when you're not focusing on her than when you are focusing on her so if you're focusing on her and you can bait her into the screen move that's the, always the best time to attack otherwise it's more about waiting for your opening waiting till they're moving or they've just finished an attack and you have time to go in and make a move once you have her out of the way, the fight's pretty easy, uh, and taking care of the Guardian Apes not too much of a hassle. She's not too terribly hard to take out if you're a little familiar with her moves, so don't get too discouraged if this takes you a couple tries. Um, 
it might just be that you need to get a little more familiar with her moves in particular. In it's good to try to keep a little bit of distance. Um, and then just to jump to evade, especially if they come in with the slam move. Once you have the Guardian Ape's uh, sidekick taken down, it's just a matter of finishing him off, and it's the same strategy that you've been doing. Uh, you should be pretty familiar with the Guardian Ape by now, so the rest of the fight shouldn't be too difficult. 